All right, welcome back. Happy Monday. Welcome back to this um, Microsoft Monday for April 29th. It's almost the end of the month. Hope you all had, I hope you all had a great weekend. We'll talk a little about, uh, well, supposedly the most expensive game ever to be made, if the rumors are true. Regarding Halo 6, we'll get started here in a few moments. <clears throat> if you are new to these chats, please do stop by and say hello. If we have any, if we have any Halo fans out there, of course, like me, <laughs> say hello. Well, 7478 is in the house. Technically, I'm first, but for tonight, you can be first. Music is from the YouTube audio library. Check it out. Looks like everything looks good on my end. Hopefully the computer won't freeze. It froze before. Let's go ahead and transition. There we go. Yeah, I was editing a um I was trying to edit an eight minute video. My computer froze. I mean I couldn't do anything. I had to do a hard reboot and that's it. I tell myself, that's it, I'm done for tonight. Geezer Geek. Buenas noches. Welcome to a Microsoft Monday. Yeah, I had to take a break from video editing. I edited a video for Lubuntu 19.04. And like I said, I was gonna edit a different video, eight minutes, and the computer just it just froze. I'm not sure what happened. Well, I know what happened. My four squirrels were chugging. <coughs> I don't suppose anybody wants to donate a 4K computer that you don't need. Just thought I'd ask. Mark, you are getting very angry. I'm going to have to charge you by the hour for calming services, consultation calming services, right? You keep messing up, don't we all? Take a look at the ticker feed, see what's up. Completely avoidable measles outbreak. It's 25 year high. Oh joy. It all looks great, young toss. Well, thank you. We'll give this another minute or two, see who else wants to stop in to say hello. So it looks like, as it stands now, we will start, I do mean us, we'll start a, an, an experiment, a full schedule of shows, tentatively starting Friday night. Uh, it's probably one of the most requested things here on this particular channel. Can I set up a regular schedule? Um, so I took some personal time off starting Friday night, uh, uh, about 9 PM. We'll do a, uh, hi Robert. We'll do a, um, uh, <laughs> gladly pay. Well, my, my therapy sessions on this show are free, but if you want to donate to the channel, you know how to do it. Um, starting Friday night, guessing 9 PM Eastern time, we'll start the, the first day of a week of live shows. Uh, five, six, maybe seven, I'm not sure. Like I said, I, I took some personal time off. Um, it's by request. I took some time off without pay, but I'm gonna give it a shot for a week. A, a, a string of shows starting Friday night, 9 p.m. I'm thinking Eastern time. We'll do a comments corner. We'll look at some of your comments, questions. We'll answer those uh, and um, then we'll go from there. We'll do something Saturday. Um, maybe during the day, possibly. 
Uh, we may even do something Saturday night, possibly. We'll do something Sunday, maybe even Sunday night. And then that m next week, Monday through Friday, I'll see how things go. Uh, whether I do that again will, will depend entirely on feedback. And by feedback, I mean Patreon and PayPal and nothing else. How much of a demand is there? Uh, again, I'm doing this on my own time, and that's fine. It, it should be fun. Um, CJ, I'm going to, I'm going to have to, I'm going to make a note cause I got, I got to talk to you. My dad's flying in Wednesday. In fact, I'm going to make a note, CJ, talk to you about the movie business. Yeah, uh, he, uh, Steve's doing a chat. Okay. Yeah. Um, I actually, for Lubuntu, I actually edited a video today on uh, Lubuntu 1904, and I was I, I wanted to edit edit another short video tonight, an eight minute video, and Caden live, and my computer just froze. I mean, nothing, the keyboard, nothing. So that's it. I was done editing for tonight. I I have to get a new computer um, sometime relatively soon. So. This one has gone as far as it can go. But we'll do a Microsoft Monday for this evening. So, um, again, look for the first uh, string of shows starting Friday night, I'm guessing 9 p.m. Eastern Time. And we'll do a whole bunch starting next week, and we'll see how that regular schedule goes. That's exactly what, a total OS marathon next week. Yep. That's exactly what it's going to be, yeah. Huh? Hopefully I won't burn myself out. So, I don't know. Maybe I can get enough supporters to buy a new computer next week. We'll see. Uh, let's see. I need to... I can cross out my Lubuntu review. I did that today. It's not really a review. It was a quick look. Um, so yeah. I think I have your email, CJ. If not, just send me an email at totalostoday1 at gmail and I'll get back to you. Yeah. It seems like something comes up. I, I mean to talk to you and then that one there. Okay. All right. I, I, I think I have that. I think I do. Let me save that just to remind myself. Okay, cool. Yeah, so Friday night we'll do a comments corner. Some of your comments, questions, some of it funny, some of it interesting to say the least. So we'll do that probably Friday night. I'll know for sure Wednesday or Thursday, so look for that schedule starting Friday. Any Halo fans out there, don't be shy. All right, let's give this two more minutes and then we'll get started on some of the news articles for tonight. Again, if there's anybody new watching, uh, stop by and say hello. That's what this channel is all about. All 1 billion Windows users of you out there. It's a lot. Place an order for a heatsink fan assembly to fix your ThinkPad. Okay. Core i5. Yeah, I've been looking at refurbished Dell's Core i7s. <laughs> CJ comes across flakes all the time. Ha ha. I've been out to LA, California. I hear you, mate. California is an amazing place, but man, the traffic, wow. 
First time I drove there, I was I, I flew there, but driving in the state, I was like, holy cow, where all these cars come from? Anyway. All right, well, let's get started on these articles, and whoever else jump, jumps in, comes on to say hello. Again, if you are new to this channel, to Linux, uh, have a question or whatever, not just about Linux, um, again, stop by and say hello. Bubble 2, what's up? Alright. Well, the last Halo game was uh, 2015? Yeah. Well, 343 Industries, they've been working on Halo 6 called Halo Infinite. And this, and this is just a rumor, but it's supposed to cost, it might cost up to $500 million or more. Um, it's interesting because if this is true, they didn't want to spend the hundred, two hundred million dollars for a Halo movie, but they're willing to spend supposedly, allegedly, they want to spend five hundred million dollars plus on a game for Halo Six. Now, none of this has been confirmed, but the most expensive game, according to this article on Digital Trends, was Call of Duty and Destiny, uh, three hundred million dollars. Those are movie budgets, and I guess you know these high-end games, they kind of play like movies. You know, if there's one thing that Microsoft has done right is with the Halo universe. It isn't just the movies. It's the books, the, the wonderful soundtracks. Uh, they've done a good job, for the most part, with the Master Chief. So if this is true, it'll definitely be the most expensive uh, entertainment uh, product ever created. Uh, I guess they have high hopes for this game. Halo 5 was somewhat disappointing. But the Halo 6 or Halo Infinite, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I don't play as many games as I used to. Uh, but uh, yeah, this one here, I would gladly spend 60 bucks or whatever it's going to cost. Present arms, hello. Um, so for Halo fans out there, if this is true, uh, yeah, it, it, it's going to dwarf any uh, big movie project. It'll dwarf any Star Wars movie project and so on all right let's move on well microsoft issues an important windows 10 upgrade warning i, th I think i spoke about this this past weekend basically here you're gonna have to have a minimum of free space of 32 gigs or more to run windows 10 64 bit that's what they're saying um you know, Windows 10 feels like it's more more bloated each time. It works. It works for me. No crashes. But yeah, Windows 7 is definitely more fun. So anyway, be aware if you're running Windows 10 doing the upgrades and updates. Uh, you need lots and lots of storage. And my caddy, trank, my caddy trunk will not be big enough. All right. So... <laughs> You won't believe the dumb reason that blocks a major Windows 10 update. You may have seen this article. And apparently, uh, what's blocking the upgrade is your external USB devices or an SD memory card. Uh, I don't know why. I don't. I, I never recalled these issues with, uh, you know, with Windows 7. Uh, but uh, just be aware of Windows 10. If you don't have a, a hefty machine, you're going to be in trouble or potentially be in trouble. And until we get a national Linux desktop, you know, your other choice is Apple. If all you do is web surfing or this, Chromebooks are fine in my opinion. Hello, Present Arms. How are you? Uh, my cam quality is crap. Well, I have it uh, miniaturized, uh, Ben. So, yeah, I mean, the stream is okay. So, I don't have it in full 1080p on the camera side. So, um, anyway, yeah, I don't know what's going on. The stream looks okay for me here. So, anyway, uh, let's move on here. Um,. Windows 10 just got a huge upgrade for Android phone users. There's an app here called Your Phone, and um, it's going to let you uh, get notifications on your Windows machine from your phone. Uh, that's nice. Linux has, has been doing this for a while, so uh, 
yeah, check out uh, this app if you're into notifications on your uh, computer from your phone. I personally am not into that that much. But I guess I can see where this might be somewhat uh, useful to get notifications on your screen from your Android phone. Assuming this will not require uh, six gigs to make it work, right? So there you go. That's all I have for the uh, for these updates. I'll stick around a little bit longer for this evening. So. Camera's bad. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Uh, uh, Babone to the sound is good. Okay, sorry about that. I, I mean, it could be my computer, possibly, but um, yeah, everything looks good on my end. But okay, it is what it is. As long as you can hear me. Yeah, it, it, it could be just the CPU chugging along. I'm not sure, but. Um, Ah, Ubuntu 1404 reaches end of life on April 30th. Okay. Well, that's coming up tomorrow. So there you go. Looks like Ubuntu 1910 daily bills are going live or live. Okay. I'll probably post that Ubuntu video I did today. Probably post it up sometime tomorrow. It's just a short one of my thoughts on it. I, I liked what I saw. Pretty nice looking lightweight system. So I just downloaded a KDE Neon. I was curious about that one, so yeah. Love the blues, yeah. Ben wants to be a Gen 2 dev. Oh, where's the frying pan? I got a spoon. Audio video is cool for you, geezer. Okay, yeah, yeah. Try refreshing your browser, see if that'll work. Um, you know. Well, Chromebooks are based on Gentoo, a Linux standard. So there you go. Seven and be down should be enough, I would think. Mm hmm. Yeah. And like I said, this thing froze tonight. I was editing an eight minute video, a short one, in 720p, and it just froze. The computer, everything locked. I, th I think one of my squirrels passed away in the machine. Uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the squirrels, all the quad core scroller, and then one squirrel. I'm done. That's what it's up. Yeah. 
I'm just chilling right now. So if, if 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 anybody has a comment or a question or anybody new watching, that's that's what I'm here for. Like I said, I'm I'm done editing for tonight. I'm burned out. So um, I'm just chilling to the music on the YouTube audio library. So. Bosch teams up with Power Cell to bring down the cost of fuel cells. Okay. They should make computers run on fuel cells. Oh, talk about speed. Yeah. I'll edit that 4K video in like four seconds. Let's see what the weather forecast is. More rain and rain. Surprise. Uh, rain through the weekend. Yuck. Yeah, for what it is, see, I think Laboo 21904 looks fine. I mean, it's meant to be lightweight and simple. It's, it's running the new desktop environment, the LXQT. I, th I, th I thought it looked fine. You know, if you have an older machine and want something zipping and fast and simple, you know, it's it's not meant to look snazzy or be all jazzed up as though. It wasn't designed for that. Uh, but for what it is, I think it's fine. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have a problem using it and playing with it, so... And it's fast. So if you have a machine with less than 4 gigs, I tested it uh, with a uh, laptop with 3 gigs. I, I thought it was fine. I didn't have a problem with it. So and, 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 it, and it was stable. So, you know. If menus and everything launch at normal quick speed and you're able to do offline things very quickly, uh, I'm not always able to do offline things very quickly. STS, yeah. So I think part of it is my computer. Like I said, Caden Live froze rendering in 720p. It just, I mean, my whole computer just locked up. So I think part of the problem is my computer. Uh, Jonathan, you purchased the. Uh, Master Chief Collection, I think that's what, you, yeah, that's, that's a great, um, yeah, nice. Ben, you're downloading Zubuntu and Ubuntu, I haven't tested Zubuntu, I don't think I will, you know. I'm sure it's still fairly lightweight, so. Yeah, Lubuntu on an older machine, CJ. Like, my, mine's a dual core of 3 gigs. It was fine. And I think it looked nice enough for what it is. Stable, fast. You know. You can't judge a book by its cover. So there you go. Yeah, I don't care if the back end is fiber. My back end is usually fiber. <laughs> but a bump. Ah, Robert, your hometown of Longview has a large squirrel population. They install squirrel bridges. Ah, across several streets so the cars wouldn't squish them. Wonderful. Nothing wrong with that. Ben is not a Halo fan. Get out of my channel. Nah, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Halo 6 is... If Halo 6, Jonathan, if they're going to spend $500 million to make it, we'll have everything. 
multiplayer, split screen. Yeah. Everything. Gen 2 e Easter eggs in it. Who knows? But uh, I'm assuming with the hundreds of millions spent, the game will have everything. So that's my guess. And that's definitely one thing Microsoft has done right, in my opinion. Phone call at 2 a.m. Okay. I, I didn't realize you had so many girlfriends present arms, but hey, you know, it's all good. <laughs> the tortoise and the hare. Ben, you're going to play Star Wars Galaxies at 1 a.m. Wow. I used to play a Star Wars game with my boy, and there was a, there was a guy narrator on the game. He kind of talked like he had a cold. In Galactic Conquest, you must capture the Imperial Crow. That, that's what the guy said on the, the game. In Galactic Conquest. Whatever. Flight Sims, okay. Yeah, Halo is cool. Um, I think they're all good for the most part. Um, you know, the first three probably the best. song is Spanish Rose from the YouTube audio library it's it's relaxing yeah mm-hmm yeah it is a nice song it, no, it takes time to find these songs and play them and make a quick decision but it's worth it it's worth it I think so I don't do it all the time because then that's all I would do but it's nice it's it's a nice function out of the YouTube uh, you know library so Doing stand up, doing like impressions. Good to be here, no. Yeah. It's just one of those things that, you know, Stephanie cracked me up when she, when she did it. <laughs> she cracked me up. I was not expecting it, but, uh, you know. My Minecraft player loses five year old game. He lost his mind. Hmm. Da 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 da. Do 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 do. 
Du, 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 du. Eclectic music? Yeah, I would say I probably have that for the most part. Eclectic taste of music, yeah. Uh, I got Comcast cable, whatever they offer, uh, STS, yeah, so, yeah, I've never had issues before, so it's, you know, until I get a new PC where I can tell for sure, so, but I think, I think it's my system, so, yeah, yeah, live streams have been okay in the past, so, I mean, I'm, maybe it's my modem, I unplugged it and rebooted, it, so maybe it's that, I don't know. I can ask him see if they have an updated modem. So, I don't know. All right, CJ, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I will keep that in mind. Good evening, Steve. How are you? I'll stick around for a little bit longer. Those of you who missed the stream, just get and replay this. I did a just about a three or four short. Uh, Microsoft news of interest for this evening so you always have a backup of your hard drive you never know My CPU is chugging all four cores at 100%, so that's the problem. That's a lot. Doxis, it's, um, I think it's three. As far as I know. Yeah, it's, yeah, I, I'm pretty sure it's three. Yeah. Quad channels, let's see, speaking. Uh, Total OS Today 1, CJ. Total OS Today 1 at gmail.com. Yeah. Total OS Today 1. Yep, always back up. You never know. It doesn't matter what you use. What is my hardware? This is um, AMD A6. Um, um, six gigs of RAM. Dedicated, or sorry, just just the graphics that come with. You know, it it it, it doesn't have a dedicated card, so. Uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, it works fine with Linux. It's been reliable, but for what I do, it just doesn't have enough horsepower. And that's the problem, you know. Um, 
So yeah, but I I'm, I've been looking at a Dell Core i7s uh, lately. So you know, this is probably closer to if you look it up an AMD A6. It's probably closer to an i3. So. All right, let's give this a, um, excuse me, a 10 minute warning for comments and then I guess I'll wrap it up for tonight. So, and if you missed any of this, just get it and re replay it. Um, again, the big story, the big news, if it's true, Halo 6 Infinite may cost up to $500 million to develop. It's a lot. Yeah, the Ace, yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's stable for Linux. It's been reliable, but you know, it's for for what I want to do. It's not it. Um, I got to uh, I got the original Windows 10. Uh, it's not a Seagate hard drive. Western Digital in this, and then I disconnected the um, the uh, CD drive and hooked up the Ubuntu Mate SSD with those cables. So. Um, so that way I have two, di two different drives. Yeah, it's, it's, it has to be the CPU. So doing too many things at once and it's choking. Mm -hmm. A couple generations old at least. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely a CPU. I mean, it's running at 100% now. Um, and considering I'm not really doing that much, so. But yeah, it's chugging along, so. I think a Core i7 would probably solve my problem. With a dedicated card. Yeah, I've been looking at the refurbished uh, ones, um, Mark. So, uh, there's actually a store uh, that does recycled or refurbished machines here, not too far from here. I'm, I may take a look at it and see, see what they have. I could pick up a Dell Core i7 for less than $200 with eight gigs of RAM to get started, but then I'd have to buy RAM the video card, maybe change the power supply. You know, it's I got I have, I have to think about it, but at least the processor would be correct. CJ will never buy another Dell. Whoa. Huh. Okay, so you had a problem. Yeah, I I've I've heard Dells play good with Linux, so. I don't know. That's all that I've know so far. I don't have a Dell, but all right. Five minute warning, guys, and then I'm out of here. Yeah, it seems like the RAM prices have stabilized. Um, so the RAM wouldn't be too much in that machine to go from 8 to 16 gig. The cost would be the video card. And if I have to change the power supply, excuse me. So I don't know. I don't know. It depends what kind of power supply. If, it has a, if, it, if, if it's at least 300 watts, I could get a low profile video card. And that might work, you know.
Steve says, no issue with any of your Dells. Okay. Shipping can be expensive. Yeah, that's why if I buy it here locally, you know, save on the shipping. And if I take it home, there's a problem with it. I could take it back. So, but yeah, I would more than likely test it at the shop first before I buy it. But, you know, and they may have video cards. They're ready to buy. I don't know. <laughs> so, think pad. I think I have enough think pads. I got three of them, uh, CJ. But thank you. Yeah, got one there. Uh, I got one in the garage that's kind of broken. Then one in that back room back there. So I think I have enough. Yeah. I like this wallpaper, by the way. It's peaceful. Kind of reminds me of Italy. Up on the hills there by the ocean. Anyway. All right, anything else before I wrap this up for this evening? Graphics card's about $100 from what I saw. You got five for that work? Okay, CJ, yeah. Business class stuff is usually pretty good, okay. I think the Core i7 will handle it, um, as far as I know, yeah. Yeah, I like the wallpaper. It's, um, it's peaceful. It's nice. It's not raining in there, as it is here. So sick of the rain. Mm-hmm. All right, last minute for comments. And then we're gonna wrap this up. Uh, Optiplex. Okay, see, so yeah, that's what I've been looking at. Optiplex is 9010 or something like that. Yeah. Anyway. Thank you, Mark. Oh, let's make this one the last song. Spanish Rose. How's that? This is the last song and then we're done. How about that? Uh, Generation I-7, I believe, Steve, it is the third generation, if I am not mistaken. Yeah.
I think it'll handle, I think something like that would handle this in 1080p fine, you know, for video rendering. Um... Haswell or Skylake, yeah. All right, let's wrap this up then. Thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the stream, uh, this very uh, laid back casual stream for this evening and some cool relaxing music. Um, again, if you missed any of this or the whole thing, just wait till YouTube finalizes the video and you can 